Okay, this is another look at some good old knives. And these are some of my favorite. I think I done did a review on this knife. And these are 2015 models of the Riates. And this is the Riate heels. S35 VN on the blade. And this knife has got the stone wash blade, of course. You see the S35 V in there. And the Riate. Um, cool little mill in here on the titanium. A little jimp in here, which is very smooth. Um, barely even noticeable to the thumb. But the good thing about the Riate heels is when you're holding it, you can choke up here. Um, if there was a little jimp in there, would be awesome. Um, but the good thing about this knife, as with all Riates, is they're exceptionally well built. Um, you see this is the black stain, stone wash. You see that steel lockup? That's a must-have for me on knives. Uh, don't like the just the bare titanium lockups going against the actual steel there of the of your knife. Um, who does that a lot? Oh, uh, Kaiser knives, and I did write Kaiser and talk to one of their guys and told him I had a problem with one of their knives and he was like well file on it yourself or whatever you know so I was like boom done with them uh, but I did try to help them out and tell them hey man you guys would make good of knives as Kaiser and Stedman out of China if you just put this steel liner in there for the lockup but they won't listen, so. And I don't think that would cost them much more on their production of their knives. And they could still sell them at a very reasonable price. You got some good jimp in here. Pocket clip's kind of basic, just. But it's not no big hot spot in the hand. So that's the heels. That's just a. You got a different blade design there. Than you do on the horizon. Um, blade centering is uh, really good on these knives. You can see that. Centered, just, you know, perfect. And. They got the horizon in that color also, which I got one. They got a blue. And then they have this one. Which is just plain titanium gray. Which looks really good. Um, is it stonewashed to titanium effect? No. It's just more like of a satin finish. Um, you got your pocket clip. Cool back spacers there. And of course, the action is just super smooth. 
uh, S35VN. And this is a stone wash blade. Riate. Just these knives are super. And you got the cool like blood groove there, and then you got in the blade, there's actually a swedge right here, which is kind of neat, you know. Um, of course, you got the steel liner lockup, different design on the and a lanyard hold, of course, which the heels you don't get no lanyard hold. But really, I mean, you can. You got plenty of room in there. As you can see, you could tie around this bag right here and slide it in through there if you really wanted to put a lanyard on it. Um. Knives come super sharp. I mean, just, you know, they're really sharp straight out of the box. So, I mean, great sharpness on them, great price on them. Uh, American made knives like this is just way overpriced. You know, I bought a lot of knives, got a lot of knives, and I just stopped myself. I said, there is no way I'm going to pay four and five hundred dollars for a nap. And some people's like, well, oh, I'll spend that in a second. What are you getting? You're basically getting, you're buying a name and maybe, a, yeah, if it's got gold inlays and all that, yeah. But, I mean, you can't ask for much more than this. It's made out of titanium. It's got good blade steel. It's going to last forever. It's built like a tank. I mean, the blade centering is just perfect. You're getting a nice custom pocket clip. I mean, why would I go spend, say, $750? On a lot, I'll not mention no names. Uh, 750, 800, up to a thousand to buy some of these knives, which is not going to flip. No better than this. Nor are they going to cut any better. And they're not going to. I mean, they're just going to look a little different. And I know people's big on looks, but for the money, I could spend eight or nine hundred dollars on something I think better than a knife. But everybody has their own choice. It's just me. I stopped myself. I said, I'm not buying no more customs. I'm just not, you know, I'm not getting into that area. Because you, you, you're out of grand, two grand on a knife. Do you really think you can get that back? If you catch the right knife head, you know, you might can. But that's just kind of crazy. You're, you're probably going to never sell them anyway if you're a knife collector like me. Uh, I do got some knives I would sell, and I will sell whenever I get around to it. Um, but right here's all you need. I mean, to be honest, I mean, I'll buy this or a Stedman before I'll spend 700 and get basically the same thing. Titanium H35VN with a steel plate lockup. I mean, other than that, you're just getting G10, and uh, that stuff's not expensive. I mean, for a piece this long and that thick. I mean, I think the knife markets kind of went crazy. Um, and I've noticed this year, and it may be due to these knives and some other knives or just the economy, I don't see the customs selling like they was. Because they're just so much money. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. But it's all in what you want. I'm not, you know, if you're into custom knives and you pay 
thousand, two thousand dollars for knives, that's your business. But just me personally, I've just learned, you know, it's like guitars. I play guitar, I've got a lot of guitars. I just won't go buy a Les Paul and pay five or seven thousand dollars for one when I can go buy a three hundred dollar guitar that sounds and plays just as good. And people go, oh, no, they don't. Oh, they... Yeah, they do. It's been proven. I mean, so, I mean, for your money, if you're wanting a good, high-end quality knife, get you one of these. Yeah, they come out of China. David Dean makes them. He does a great job. They're awesome knives. So, I've rambled on about these. Just super action. A lot of people think even you're flipping an automatic. I mean, them things just rock it out. You can push, flip it, or, you know, like that. Or you can power flip it and, you know, make it come out even faster. Um, blade centering is just perfect. So, I mean, you're getting a very well-built nap with high-quality materials. What more can you ask for? A knife is a blade and handle. And he's using titanium handles with an ice milling on them. Great de design, very ergonomic. And S35VN, which is a great knife steel. Uh, yeah, there's probably, there's better steels. There's a whole lot worse steels. This is a great all around steel. Holds a good edge, last and it's great. So, that's just my personal preference. If you want to go buy a big micro tech or, or a whatever, which I've got a couple micro techs, but I mean, $1,200, $1,500 for a knife, that, and they don't flip no better than that. So, it's something you might want to consider for getting in a knife. Because getting your money back out of them, you're probably not going to. Unless you just get a rarity that goes crazy and they don't make no more. So, if you can do that, great. But, have a good one. That's the heels. Get you one of these. They're out. You can get them right now. And when they sell out, I would say there'll be no more till next year. But I'm sure they'll be back, and right here you go, the Horizon. Great knives. You can get this blue, this color. You can get it this color. And if you want to, I'm sure you can send yours off or get one straight from China from David Dean. He's right on Facebook. Friend him. Uh, send him the money, and I'm sure he'll send you the knife. And he'll make you one that's, you know, all died out, which is not going to make the knife work any better, but it's going to look better. So if you're stuck on looks, yeah, go for it. But if you're just wanting quality and get your money's worth for the way the knife market is now, you need to shoot for these, if you ask me. But that's just my opinion. You all have a great day. And we'll see you on the next one. I got a good spider code coming in that. Uh, I was really wanting to get by the way it was designed and actually I got another one of these coming in believe it or not because uh, when you get something good I'll buy two of them or three so have a good one we'll see you later